This is Brandon and Ernie, and it is time for Lighthouse Beacon. How are you guys doing today? Great big waves and shout outs to all of our kids and the parents who are watching today. When you guys show up, if you would uh, give us a little comment, let us know that you're here or a thumbs up or something along those lines to let us know that you guys are uh, here, tuned in and ready to roll. If you have not done so as of yet, you guys can go to the uh, Facebook page, uh, the Calvary Cork Life uh, group and make sure that you have the lyrics for our praise and worship. Uh, the two songs we're going to be singing today are the Bust Him in the Chin song and Who You Say I Am. So if you guys don't have those pages yet, now would be a great time to do so. Now we have a special treat for you guys today. The last several episodes of the Lighthouse Beacon, it's basically just been me and Miss Ernie kind of doing everything. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to have Silas and Ethan join in and they're going to play major roles in what's going on. Boys, I know you're not on screen, but can you say hi to everyone real quick? Hi to everyone real quick. <laughs> oh, that was very good. Silas was right on there. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into a little bit of praise and worship to start us off for the day. So I'm going to invite Ethan to come over here and I'm going to step out and Ethan's going to take my chair and you guys are going to do some singing all together. So if you can, great big round of applause for Ethan. All right. All right, guys. All right. Ethan has agreed to help me out with some praise and worship. And what song are we going to start with, Ethan? Bust them in the chin. Bust them in the chin. So if you don't remember, it's been a while since we've done this song. We're going to go over the actions really quick. So, Ethan, you got to show everybody. Make sure everyone can see you. There you go. All right, everybody make a heart. Say, I have a little heart. I have a little heart. Good. I keep my Jesus in. I keep my Jesus in. I take him out. I take him out. And mwah, mwah, mwah. And, mwah, mwah, mwah. and share him with a friend. You're not eating Jesus. You're kissing Jesus. Kiss Jesus. Do oh, not God. eat him. No. Okay, so listen. So I have a little heart. I have a little heart. Okay, the devil can't come in. He can't come in. And if he knocks upon my heart. But nobody can, can see your neck. There you go. <laughs> if he knocks upon my heart, I'll bust, bust him in oh, the come chin. On. Bust him in the chin. All right, use your other hand today, Ethan. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to get started nice and slow. Ethan, ready? Show me your heart. Everybody show me your heart. There we go. All right, nice and slow. All right, Ethan's going to sing this nice and loud, too. I have a little heart. I keep my Jesus in. Here we go. I take him out and look, 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 and share him with a friend. I have a little heart. Here we go. The devil can't come in, uh uh. And if he knocks up on my heart, I'll bust him in the chin. I have a little heart. I keep my Jesus in. I take him out and, and share him with a friend. I have a little heart. The devil can't come in, no way. And if he knocks up on my heart, I'll bust him in the chin. I have a little heart. I keep my Jesus in. I take him out and share him with a friend. I have a little heart. The devil can't come in. And if he knocks upon my heart, I'll bust him in the chin. I have a little heart. I keep my Jesus in. I take him out and share him with a friend. I have a little heart. The devil can't come in. And if he knocks upon my heart, I'll bust him in the chin. Oh, I have a little heart. I keep my Jesus in. I take him out and share him with a friend. Everybody, give yourselves yeah, a hand. Yeah, I'm not good at the fast. <laughs> give yourselves a hand. Good job, Ethan. That's pretty good. Keeping up. All right, guys. Well, we are going to slow it down a tiny bit, right? Everybody catch your breath. I hope you guys had fun with that. We're going to do the next song, Ethan, which is what? Who You Say I Am. Who You Say I Am. And if you I am didn't, you say I am. If you didn't get a chance to print off the lyrics, uh, Mr. Brandon posted them earlier. But most of you, I think, know this song. So if you know it, Sing out loud, and we're going to get do this together. You ready, Ethan? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Who am I? Who am I that the highest king would welcome? I was lost. I was lost, but he brought me into his love. Sunset free. Oh, it's 
dad and we are your children god and you take care of us and you love us so much lord and we thank you for this time that we get to spend together pray that you would be with us help us lord to listen really well with our ears and our eyes and our bodies lord help us to be spilled out and pay attention to the things that you have and to learn in jesus name amen amen, amen. today you guys are going to help me with a puzzle let's scoot this up closer so everyone can see it really really well silas is going to play the part of my vanna white today in our puzzle you guys don't know who vanna white is do you no who's that oh uh, vanna white's from from a game show and so yeah that's all right we'll talk about that one later but silas do you have a pen ready come on over here so everyone can see you i'm going to scoot to this side or you want to be on this side okay I'm very very cool Perfect. Silas is going to stand on this side. Now, this is a puzzle, and so I'm going to need everyone's help in order to be able to do this puzzle really well. So in the comments field, if you guys know what's going on, when I ask for it, I want you to type in what the word is so that we can fill it in over here. So this is a word puzzle that has pictures. And so our very first thing right here, this is a sign. It's a very special type of sign. Does anyone know what type of sign that is? <laughs> I see that Leia says it's exit. Very good, Leia. Great big round of applause for Leia. Silas, will you write the word exit? up there for us, please. Fantastic. So we have the word exit right here. Now it says minus E X. And so Silas, will you scratch off the E and the X for us? Cause we don't want to see it up there any longer. Very nice. And so that leaves us with two letters and that word is it. Silas, will you circle that? It. Very good. And so I'm going to borrow your marker for one second. So our very first word is it. 
Very nice. Now, right below this, we have another picture. And this picture is of what? Does anyone know what that is? Oh, Owen and Rosie said exit too. Very, very good. Ben, you were on top of it with exit. Awesome. Very good. What is our next picture right here? What does that look like to you guys? Can anyone tell me? Joseph says a fist. Joseph, you are amazing and awesome. That is a perfect answer. Silas, will you write fist nice and big so everyone can see it really, really well in capital letters? Perfect. Now, it's a fist, but we want to get rid of two of the letters. We want to get rid of the F and the T. Will you cross those off for us, please? Very nice, which leaves us with two letters, and it is is. Very nice. Now, who can tell me what this is? This is something that I love to use in all of my cooking. I put it on my bread or my toast. I use it to cook chicken. I use it on all sorts of things because it's fantastic and awesome, and it helps me keep my girlish figure. I see it right there. Mark Andrew says butter and yummy. Oh, Ben is on top of it with butter and Toby says butter. Toby, very, very good. You guys all had fantastic answers. Now, Silas, will you write, maybe not, well, yeah, go ahead, write butter. But butter probably isn't quite the word that we're going for here. May I borrow that? It says butter, but we actually want it to be better. The butter just helps us to think about it as the word is. So right now we have it is better. What number is this right here? It represents a word that we use all the time. Silas, I'm going to let you answer this one. Can you write it on there? Two. Very good. So it is better. Two. Now we have something very, very difficult. I don't know if you guys like to eat this or if you've ever had one before, but Silas, will you start us off? It says T. So we're going to have the letter T. Plus, while you guys are trying to figure that out, what does that look like to us? What kind of image is that right there? It's a cake, Timmy, you are on yeah, fire, yeah, yeah, well yeah. done. So we have T plus cake, so as we write cake on there for us. But we wanna get rid of this letter right here, that C. So will you cross off the C? Do you know what that leaves us with? We are left with, will you write it real big right here for us? Yeah. Beautifully done. We have it is better to take now. What does this look like to you? It's a very special job that this person has. They help out in sports, and we're looking for the short version of it. Does anyone happen to know what it is? Silas, will you answer this one for us? Do you know what it is? What is it? Can you tell us nice and loud so everyone can hear you? It's a referee. A referee, and what's this? Leia, very good answer. Yeah. Oh, excellent job. Joseph, Toby, and Timmy got it right there as well. We want the shortened version of referee, which is just ref. Will you write ref right there for us, please? Now, while Silas is writing that, I want you to take a look right here and look at this picture. What does it look like they're doing right there? Can you help me figure out what they're doing? Silas, what is this one that they're doing for us? Hugging. Hugging. Can you write hug for us right there, please? Just right here. That'll be perfect. Oh, very good. The Shaw Clan got it with a hug. And Lily was right with a hug. Rosie, you said they're hugging. Very good. Joseph, you are on it with hugging. Excellent job. That's fantastic. So we have ref plus hug, but we don't want the H in here. Silas, will you get rid of the H for us? Very nice. But we also want to add another letter. Can you add an E right behind it? Very good. So what we have here is a very special word, and we're going to talk about this word in a little while. This word is refuge. So what we have so far is it is better to take refuge. And now we have to solve the next part of our puzzle. Can anyone tell me what this is right here? What does that look like to you? Does anyone have any ideas? It's a bin. Very, very good. Can you write bin? But we don't want the letter B on there. And so we're going to get rid of our letter B. And once we have the B gone, it's going to say a special word. And I think that the Shaw clan had it there. Miss Audrey was saying it is in, which is correct. So will you circle in for us? Now, while he's doing that, Silas is going to start us off with the letter T. But what kind of animal is this right here? It's a very special type of this animal. It's the girl version of this animal. If you can figure that out, I would like to see what you guys can say in our comments field. Yeah, if it was a rooster, it it's would say rooster. And rooster is not the word that we are looking for. Lily says a duck. A duck so close, Lily. It's very, Dave very close. Says hen. Dave, you are Dave. brilliant wow. and amazing. I Good love job. it. Excellent. So we have a T plus a hen, but we don't want the N in here. So Silas, will you get rid of the N? And then the word that we have is the. Now, 
right over here, we have a very special image. And this is important to all of us Christians. It's a, it's a cross. But that cross represents a very special person. And do you know who that very special person is? Silas, I'm going to let you write our word over here. That cross represents Jesus. But we don't just call Jesus Jesus all the time. That's his name. That's the name that we call him by. But we also refer to him as the Messiah. We call him the Christ. But there's a special word that we use for him sometimes. And it's a word that shows his title and who he is and how important he is. It's Lord. So we have in the Lord. Now, we have this image right here. Silas is going to write our T, but then who can tell me what this looks like? Does anyone have any ideas? It's a hand. Rosie, you're so brilliant and smart. I really appreciate that. Silas, will you write hand on there? Mark, Andrew, and Leah also say hand. Well done, Mark, Andrew, and Leah. You guys are super smart. Uh, band. But we don't want the D, so we're going to get rid of the D. And so it says van. And so right now we have, from the very beginning, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to, while Silas is writing to, take a look at this right here. And who can tell me what this is? I like to eat this. It's one of my favorite foods of all time. But it's not the whole part of the food. It's just this part of the food right here. Does anyone know what that is? Silence, will you write a T right there for us, please? So, Leia looks like she has the right answer. It is crust. Silence, will you write crust in there for us, please? Jack says, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust. Oh, Jack, you are so brilliant and amazing. That is awesome. We're going to get rid of that C, and that leaves us with the word trust which is fantastic. Now, this is actually part of our memory verse that Mr. Mike was asking us to learn for this week, but we want to figure out what the next part is. This one is a very special type of person. It's someone who comes from a very, very, very old movie, a movie called The Wizard of Oz, and he was a special character in The Wizard of Oz. And if you know what it is, I'd like for you to type it into the fields. If you don't know, maybe your mom or dad do, because I'm sure that they've watched The Wizard of Oz. Maybe you guys have seen it as well, but... This is one of the characters from The Wizard of Oz. Do you know who he was? It is a Tin Man, Toby. You are yeah, awesome. Well Toby. done. Very good. Well, you write Tin Man and then get rid of our T. And it's actually two words with a Tin Man, just like Silas has it. Will you get rid of our T? And so it leaves us with in man. Now, I want you to be thinking about this for just a second. See if you can figure out what this is while we go back over what we have so far. Now, in our memory verse this week is actually two verses. And the very first verse says exactly what we started off with. I'm going to take this. It says, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. But the second part of our memory verse, which is verse 9 of Psalms chapter 118, says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in this right here. Do we have any idea what this is? Mm, it does look like a tap. That's a very, very good one. But what is this tap doing? What, what does this look like right here? You eat off of it. It is a tap. That's very, very good, Toby and Joseph. You guys got that. It is a tap. But it's what's going on right here. What you do with your dishes or what you do with your hands after you've got soap on it and you want to get those things off. It's the action of what's going on right here. Do you know what it is? The word that we're looking for is rinse. And so you rinse off your dishes or you rinse off your hands. Very good from the Shaw Clan, which Jack, I guess, had already said. I'm so sorry that I missed it. It is rinse. So P plus rinse plus S spells. Will you write it down for us? And it says princes, not princess, but princes. And so it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. And this memory verse is found in Psalm or chapter 118, and it's two verses, verses eight and nine. I'd like everyone to give Silas a great big round of applause. Can you guys do that really quick? 
fantastic job. And give yourselves a great big round of applause and a pat on the back because you guys are super awesome in figuring out my puzzle. Very, very nice. Thank you, guys. I'm going to scoot this off for just one second over here because I want to show you guys something. There was a word that showed up twice in our memory verse, and it's a very important word, a word that maybe you don't know. It was the word refuge. Who's ever heard of the word refuge before? Do you know what the word refuge is? Well, today I want to show you our word of the week. It's the word of the week. Boom, boom. And our word of the week this week is refuge. And refuge is a very, very cool word that means something very special. Have you guys noticed that there's something behind me set up on the table? I'm going to scoot off to the side so you guys can see. What does that look like to you? Does anyone have any ideas? It is a fort. And we make forts out of all kinds of things. Have you guys ever made a fort before? I like to make forts. My boys actually made this fort. Silas and Ethan did. They, they put it together for me. They used chairs. They used blankets. They used pillows. They made all sorts of things to help us to make this fort. And they did it all for this word of the week right here. And that fort, it's a bed, says Lily. You're right. It is like a bed. It's a fort. It's a pillow bed or a pillow fort that we made so that you can hang out in there. And when you make a fort, it's a place that usually helps you to feel safe and secure. Well, the word refuge that we're talking about today is a very, very cool word that means shelter or a safe place. And so when the Bible tells us in Psalm chapter 118, verses 8 and 9, that it's better to take refuge in the Lord, it's telling us that God is like a shelter for us, a safe place for us to go and to be, a place where we don't have to worry or a place where we don't have to be afraid. It's a place that helps us to feel comfortable and safe. And so God is a shelter. He's a refuge. He's a safe place. He's a place that helps us to feel confident, comfortable, and secure. And it's better to make that place in the Lord than it is to do it in man, because man can make mistakes. And man sometimes is not a very safe place to put our trust in. And sometimes it's not very good to put our trust in the princes and those who are in charge because they, they make mistakes too. But God never makes mistakes. We can trust him all the time. And so when we put our trust and faith in him, he is our shelter and our safe place. He's our fort. And he helps us out. And he makes sure that we're safe and we're secure. And that's what our memory verse is all about this week. It is now time for our next episode of Life Lessons with Tina. Tina, are you there? Tina. Mr. Brandon. It's so good to see you, Tina. How are you today? What do you have for us today? What would Hi, you like Mr. to Brandon. teach us? I have a life lesson for you. Okay, very cool. What would you like to teach us, Tina? Well, well I learned something really, really important the other day. Okay. And, and it could save your life. Okay, this is very important. I mean, we can't have a life lesson if we're dead. Right, and so right. We it's need a big a life deal. Lesson. So, right. is everybody ready for the life lesson? If you're ready, show me your hands. There we go. Good. Very good. nice. Clean hands because we wash our hands. We learned how to wash our hands a, a couple of weeks back. That's right. Now, this week, we're learning. What are we learning about? All right. We're going to learn how to cross the street properly. Okay. We need to learn how to cross the street properly. I mean, Absolutely. you don't want to do it the wrong way because you, you could end up. If you do it the wrong way, you could die. You could die. You would be roadkill, and that would not be good. Flat as a pancake. Right. And that okay. Would not be so there are there are two, well, actually three steps okay. for crossing the street. Okay. First one is to look. Okay, look. Before you step onto the street, you must look. Are you looking just like down the road? No, no, or no. no I'm, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Okay, so you are going to look one way. First to the right, then to the left, okay. then to the right. One more time. Okay. Okay, so did you catch that? You got to look actually three ways. Ready? Okay, so to the, everybody do it with me. Right, left, right. Now, do you know what you're looking for? You're looking for ducks. No, 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 not okay. the ducks. There's okay. no ducks. You have to, okay, Um, you have to look for cars, vehicles, buses, trucks, those kind of things. Oh, okay. Rosie says that her dad got hit by a car one time. That is terrible, Rosie. I'm so sorry. Is he okay? Is he? Okay? I, I think he's okay now, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so you must look. So let's try that again together. Okay. Right, left, right. And okay, and then the next step is having to do with your hands. 
Okay, your hands, very nice. Okay, so everybody hold up your hand. Okay. Okay, so then you hold someone's hand when you cross this. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome, you. Tina. All right, so if you are with your mom or dad or your grandma or anybody else that is kind of in charge of you, you should hold their hand. Okay. Okay, thank you for holding my hand. You're welcome. So, okay, so so the first step was right, left, right, and then take someone's hand, and the last step is to walk. Okay, that's important. Yeah, so then to get across the street, you actually have to cross it. Oh, that is very, very important. Okay, that's so a good life lesson. Okay, so then we cross. Okay, so let's practice everyone together, okay? So first we look right, left, right, then we take a hand, good, good, and then when we're ready, we walk. Sometimes I hum when I walk. Okay, that's cool. So, so whatever you need to do, but walk. Okay, and that's how you cross the street. Life lesson with Tina. Very nice. Everybody give a great big round of applause to Tina. Woo! Thank you. This has been another Life Lessons with Tina. And so there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our lighthouse beacon for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I hope you had a fun time. I hope you learned something very, very special and important. You know, the Bible does say that God is our refuge. He's our safe place and he's our shelter. And if you are scared or confused or wondering or just tired, not feeling good, God is a great place to find your rest. He's a safe place. He's someone who knows, he's someone who understands, and he cares about you, and you can rest secure in him. And so it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to take refuge in man or to take it in princes. He is the perfect place for anyone who needs a little bit of help. He's awesome and amazing. So I'm going to pray for you guys really quick. And Lord, thank you so very much for our day today. Thank you for the opportunity to sing some songs and to learn some cool words and to do a fun puzzle and uh, just to be engaged and enjoying each other's company, even though it's over the internet today. Thank you for Silas and for Ethan and all their wonderful work in today's episode. Thank you for Miss Ernie and her beautiful singing voice and for her leading us into a place where we get to have a little bit of fellowship with you. I pray, Lord, that you'll help us to have a good rest of our day, to enjoy our time with our family, and to love on each other, and to build them up and to encourage them. And Lord, if we need a little bit of help or encouragement, help us to find our refuge, our safe place in you, and not to find it in anything else. We thank you, God, for loving us and taking care of us, and we praise you, and we love you, and we just want to we want to thank you. You're awesome and amazing. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.